Hi, good morning. This is Suzanne Seely with Suzanne Style Snips. Today I want to talk about pecans, one of my favorite nuts. Oops, but actually pecans are not nuts, they're droops. They're like the pistachio and the cherry and the apricot. They are actually not really nuts. They are the fleshy part that we eat that is covered by a hard outer shell is really a seed. So it's technically called a droop. Anyway, I want to talk about these droops and I love them in some of our, our favorite desserts, pecan pies and butter pecan ice cream. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite. And then pecan pralines. I mean, we just identify pecans with some things that we love. And it's actually when you, when you go to say Charleston or something, you walk up and down the street and they're making those hot pecan uh, pralines. It's just, I, I have to eat them. I have to have them. Anyway, um, there is a kind of a nice story about pecans. In, in the 19th century, there was an English cabinet maker by the name of Riesian who was traveling across the United States. He was on his way to California. Well, he got to San Sabia in Texas and he ran out of money. But being an enterprising and talented cabinet maker, he decided to start making caskets. I guess there was a strong need. Anyway, he went out and he was looking around for different kinds of trees to make his caskets out of, and he noticed the pecan tree became rather infatuated with the droops of the pecans. Anyway, he liked them so much, and he became obsessed with them and wanted to stage a contest, and he offered $5 reward to the person who could produce the best, tastiest, thin-shelled pecans. Turns out a gentleman came with his plate of pecans and they were unsurpassable. So Riesian decided asked the man if he would take him to show him the pecan tree. When he got there, he was absolutely horrified. This tree only had one limb on it. The man apparently had climbed up on that limb and cut all of the limbs off of the tree. When they fell to the ground, he went down and he gathered up all the pecans off the limbs. It's a terrible story. But that pecan tree, it's called the Mother Pecan Tree in San Sabia. It is now 200 years old and sadly, it is still limbless because it has been hit by two lightning strikes. It is still bearing fruit. That tree also has produced more pecan varieties than any other tree in the world. And that is because of Riesian. He kept trying to find uh, different ways to make uh, various varieties of pecans. Now, a pecan tree, it's very interesting. It has a male and female flower, but they do not flower at the same time. So for the mother pecan tree, she needed a male pollinator. So Riesian would get on his horseback and travel around and gather up male blossoms full of pollen and carry them back to pollinate his mother pecan tree. Anyway, you won't be able to find this tree. It's very prized and it's private. So it's really not open to the public. They want to preserve it. That's my story about pecan.